question 17. Now, if you have been introduced, introduced to the formula y minus y1 equals mx minus x1, this is a classic time to use it. But assuming you haven't, I'm going to do it the old y equals mx plus c method. So, we're looking for a line, uh, a parallel line passing through this point. Now, any straight line, we can start off with this sort of skeleton format y equals mx plus c for a, uh, a line 2. Now we know it's parallel to uh, line 1 so it's going to have the same gradient and remember the gradient is the number in front of the x so our parallel line has the gradient 3. So we know our new equation for L2 is going to be y equals 3x plus something. Now we know it goes through the point 3, 4 so we know when x equals 3 y equals 4 so let's just substitute that into our provisional formula here. So y is 4 and x is 3. So 4 equals 3 times 3 add c. 3, 3 is a 9. 4 equals 9 plus c. Taking away 9 from both sides, we can see, see that c must be minus 5. So we, this is the equation, but instead of c being an unknown, we know it's minus 5. So our final answer is y equals 3x minus 5.